Okay, welcome to another edition of Farm Radio. Uh, today we have another Vizio 55 inch flat panel. This one will be a little easier than the uh, other model, the E550i B2. I think we had an A0 in the last video, which was still troubleshooting, and I'll get back to that one at a later date. It was the MOSFET initially, but uh, the MOSFET only lasts about 20 minutes, so there's some uh, there's some uh, noise or something going on, uh, harmonics, um, snubber circuit. Uh, we'll get to that. I'm going to replace a couple of more chips, the power factor chip and the, the the generator, the gate generator chip on that one, but more to come on that later. Um, this one's a little more straightforward. There's already a video another YouTuber has out on this, so I thought I'd share with you. This is one of two. Here is two of two. I've already. This one's a little easier because they give you an access panel you take off, and that's everything right there. Uh, this is the first time I've seen these. I'll tell you what goes wrong with them. Is the connection between the power supply and this board with the MOSFETs? I'm assuming it's the driver for the LCD panel, while well, the LED panel. Um, they're all cracked. I'll take it off and, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This should be an easy fix. Okay, I've removed like 16 screws around the uh, access panel and the nine screws here to lift off the power supply. I haven't missed one. Uh, right here is where I'm talking. I'm just gonna try to gingerly work that. And you have some little studs there. Okay, there we are. I'll look under magnification here in a moment. That's the connector I'm talking about right there. CN202. This one looks okay, but let me look under magnification. Oh no, this has the same disease. They're all cracked. All cracked. See that one right there? They're all like that. I think it's got to do with the uh, physical pressure between the two modules. This one's fine. I'm not going to touch that one. I'm just going to doctor this up and we're going to try it. This one was manhandled so I'm not sure if the screen is in good shape on this one because it was kind of tossed. We'll see. Okay, while I wait for the soldering iron to warm up here to mend this one, this is from the E550i-B2. And this is the board just a year prior, E55I-A0, I dash A0, I believe. You'll have to look at the previous video. This one runs again, but I've uh, changed the MOSFET there. But what this one's doing, I'm not sure if it's one of the feedbacks, which I don't think so. I may have to scope it, but I'm going to change the power factor chip and the generator chip, the generator for the... I believe this is the power factor, I'm not sure I'll have to get back to, or maybe this is the generator for the gate for the MOSFET, but this is what I'm looking at on this one as the defect. It's running at the moment, but again it'll it'll quit after about 20 minutes with a shorted MOSFET. So research has proven to me that these also get wiped out and we've done been down this road before so hopefully we'll have success with this one but this one I know it's just those connectors okay the 696 one which is the little chip is the power factor correction and the other chip is the 9522s which is a Switching control I see. One of the this chip does not look good. In fact, I can't even read all the numbers. I found this by trial and error. That's the bigger chip, and this is the small one. Alright, back to our current board here. Let's mend this and give it a try. I'll just lay the camera down as I do the last one. I've wet the connector with some paste flux. You can use paste or liquid. It's basically two buses of power and ground. 
Yeah, I'll check my work, but that's it. Now well, number four needs a little touch up here. Count to five or so seconds to let it flow because it's a big area there. Okay. I'll clean that flux off and uh, have a go at it. No more cracks. And just for a note, this uses a different power factor chip, but it uses the same controller chip. Different power supply, same chip. And that controls, this looks like it has two power MOSFETs here. The bridge power MOSFETs. This is just the primary side here. And that's where our problem is with the other power supply. So there are no similarities between the A zero and the B. Which one is this? This is the oh well, anyway this is the B. Anyway we have about 10 wires off of the power supply same as the other one. Different location we have a small connector different configuration and we have this here Looks like the power is generated here on this separate board where it comes from the power supply on this one because that's the feed for the LEDs. So this one is in like two pieces. No service information on these. You've got to kind of wing it on your own. Introduce power. We have LED. I'm going to hit power on the remote. This is what I'm worried about, this scratch right here. We have power. Do we get splash? Oh, and we have this. The screen is cracked. That is a shame. Because the TV is fine. So when they threw it out, they cracked the screen. TV otherwise would have been fine. We'll power down. We'll try Vizio number two. Vizio number two, the E550I-B2 number two. Take off this, I believe, 16, 12 or 13 screws here and repair its power supply. I believe I counted 14 screws. Let me just give the panel a little pull. These are much easier than their predecessors. Oh, I missed one. Okay, here we are. 16 screws and the 9 for the power supply. First TV with the crack screen is the 167 167DPA power supply there. Vizio number 2, same power supply, 167DPA. DPS prefix. Even before removing this power supply you can see the pins are all all loose. Same disease. Vizio number two will apply power. I don't I did see illumination. I'm going to hit power on the remote. I see the lights blink, so there we are, and this screen looks good. Beautiful. All right, so. I know this TV is good. I have several of them, and uh, one is still running. One, it's a shame it has a cracked screen, but it's the way it goes when they get manhandled. Okay, thanks for watching. If this did uh, help you out, I'll leave a link where you can donate at the bottom of the screen if you'd like, if it helped you with this Vizio E55i-B2.